Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com and today I thought I would share a sketchbook I recently finished up. Just finished this sketchbook last month and so how about a short tour? These are some of the materials I used. I want to talk about them a little bit because in so many sketchbook tours people forget to tell you what materials they used in the sketchbook and I thought well you know what maybe people are interested in that so here's what I used I used this Schmincke portable watercolor kit it's got 24 pans in it lots of different colors uh, a couple of these colors are from a tube uh, and I used maybe like uh, Daniel Smith or M Graham and, I, and there was also a Pentel water brush there this is the pencil I use for most of the sketches I do. It's a Faber-Castell TK9400 lead holder. This is a Pentel ink pen, but the ink uh, lets you do washes with it. This is a Stedler pigment liner, uh, which is 0.5 millimeter, uh, and it's really good. This is a Derwent colored sketching pencil um, or drawing pencil. It's a chocolate and I give you a full list at the end of the tour. So opening up the book, I mean this is just some the ramblings of a madman just you know trying to practice some calligraphy. Now, this was a sketch I did uh, in the Maritime Museum in Duluth, Minnesota. And then in Kansas City I uh, was poolside and had my sketchbook with me and just wanted to sketch some of the characters in and around uh, the pool. This guy was in a hot tub. Um, a lot of people ask me, do people notice you sketching them? And sometimes they do, and sometimes they ask questions, and sometimes they don't. Here's the Waco, uh, there's a building in Waco, Texas that was pretty cool. It's a co-worker of mine, Adam. This was an old theater in Texas. I took a road trip to Texas not long ago and there's an adventure video of that if you want to see that but here's some boots then back home in my hometown of St. Paul Minnesota I wanted to sketch the cathedral which is a pretty iconic building here in in the Twin Cities and uh, it's huge and it's like uh, just a beautiful building more lettering practice some plant life in and around um, the Mississippi River Valley. Now this nature scene, these trees, this is from the William O'Brien State Park, which I go to frequently. It's not far from where I live. And then the Dubuque, Iowa Engine House Number 1, which is just a cool old fire station. I do a lot of sketching in, in cafes around the cities and this just happens to be one of those, a, a guy sitting at, at the uh, counter waiting for his coffee. A couple more coffee house characters. And then there's a, a lady that works at the cafe, and she was working on the, the chalkboard there. I like working with ballpoint pen once in a while. just feels kind of cool in your hand. This is a portrait of a woman in a coffee shop that I used the Derwent chocolate pencil on here this 6600 it's a pretty great pencil and I highly recommend it um, just some work on expressions and things like that um, I use this ink wash pen from Pentel and um, you just you can mark very little of this and use uh, that Pentel water brush to do sort of ink washes which I have a lot of fun with some ducks and geese I saw at William O'Brien during the springtime kinda hard to draw ducks and geese when you're not used to it um, here is a, uh, a hawk a falcon I guess you could call it I don't know which uh, breed it is but they're pretty fun to draw, and I got a great friend named Kurt Schulzettenberg who draws um, birds, and he's really great at it. Uh, more cafe drawings. This 
particular drawing in the next one right here, I used Faber-Castell pit markers as well as some watercolor. This more uh, portraits. I love to draw people and sort of try to capture expressions and and things like that. I think it's it's fun to try to do that. And I do a, a lot of figure and portrait sketching. Uh, find the human face so interesting in all its varieties. Try to capture texture and hair and things like that, which can be a little tricky uh, if you're not used to it. This was a, a guitarist who was playing at uh, the local um, farmers market and then here my friend Larry Ehrlich and I attended a watercolor demo seminar and we did a presentation and then afterwards we got to watch somebody else do a presentation and that was the audience this is the lighthouse in Grand Marais Minnesota uh, a motorcycle trip there this is a very light pencil work of a sunbather uh, who was poolside I, I'm actually quite proud of that drawing, but it doesn't show up real well. Uh, yeah, just this is what people are preoccupied with doing a lot. S cell phone and texting, but that's it. A very small sketchbook. It's a Stillman and Burns Zeta series, which is a really, really outstanding sketchbook and one of my favorite sketchbooks in the world. And this paper and this book are really durable and they hold up well to uh, mixed media. I recommend it. Here's a complete materials list for the materials I list while creating this, uh, used while creating the sketchbook for your reference. If you get a chance, drop over to my website and uh, scroll down on owingsart.com and just there on the right hand side, click that blue follow button right right there once you click that follow button you'll join a couple hundred other people who have uh, subscribed to my website and every so often I post something on there and uh, yeah hopefully you'll drop by don't forget to subscribe comment and share this video if you liked it well that's a wrap thanks for joining me on this sketchbook tour and hope you have a great day so long for now, this has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. <laughs>